So I'm probably a good patient for you because I probably suffer from all those things that you just said. Uh, low back pain, um, don't sleep eight hours straight. Um, obviously my health and diet is kind of its own separate conversation. Um, but so, <laughs> so maybe tell me looking at my posture here. Yep. Give me some tips. How can I fix my home office situation? I've got a laptop with a low keyboard or a good keyboard, keyboards are good height, but then my monitor is really low. Yeah. Um, if I raise my monitor to where I'm looking straight ahead and then kind of then bring my posture up, well then I'm hunched over back again on the keyboard. Well, so first of all, you're at an advantage because you actually have a desk, a lot of people don't. So let me just say this, if you don't have a chair, like a, an actual office desk chair, then use your dinner chair because if you're in a sofa, you're in a recliner, that's the worst thing on earth for your low back. So ideally, you would be sliding forward on the chair. That would be step one. You wanna be, if your chair is this wide, you wanna be in the front half, front third if you can. So you can feel those, what we call the sits bones. Uh, if you wanna feel that on the edge of that chair. A lot of chairs will have that kind of contoured fit. Doesn't matter. You still wanna be on the front third as often as you can. Real quickly, if I may, when you do that, keep in mind that if you're not used to having good posture, these muscles through that that upper low back, lower middle back, those are gonna get sore and tired pretty quickly. So at that point, when they're tired, then if you wanna go back and use the chair, do it. But I tell patients, on the hour, try to sit forward on that chair, that's ideal. So if you're on the front third of the chair there, looks like you are, that's good. Now imagine if you've got a meat hook here, you're gonna lift, you wanna lift the chest up. Again, this is pretty common. You want to lift just the chest. You don't want to pull the shoulders back. You don't want to do anything weird with the head. So go ahead and lift up just a little bit more with your sternum. There you go. That's good. Now, slide underneath your laptop and get your hands on the keyboard where you would normally be. Okay. Okay, so I would say that keyboard is just a little bit high. If your workstation is a laptop, it's a pretty tough situation. So one of two things is going to happen. Either you get the keyboard at a level where it's supposed to be, and yours is, is pretty good. Um, if I could change it for you, I would drop it about two inches so your arms are at 90 degrees. That would be perfect. You want your arms to be relaxed. They're not up. Or raise your chair as long. So again, the chair is a whole nother animal. But if you can reach under the chair, underneath, and just get fingers underneath your legs, then you're good. If your chair's too low and your legs drop like that, that of course is straight your lower back. If your chair's right. too high, yeah, that's another issue too. So you, you want everything to be at 90 degrees. Yeah, so this, this actually puts my legs closer to 90 than they were before. Okay, so that's good. Put your hands back on the keyboard. All right. Yeah, perfect right there. Now just slide closer because right now your arms are forward and you want your arms relaxed where they would be if you're standing. There you go. So in your situation, if you don't have an external monitor that you can plug into your laptop so you can see it, then you're gonna, it's just gonna be difficult. You're gonna have a lot of shoulder tension. You're gonna have neck uh, discomfort, potentially headaches with enough time because your head is forced down. Now yeah. keep in mind, that's like holding a bowling ball out in front of you instead of here, right? Yes. That's gonna be a that's, lot of stress on those muscles in your neck. That's uh, what I'm noticing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's, by the way, that's where a lot of headaches and migraines come from too, but that's also your immune system. So in a perfect world, you would do one of two things. You'd either get an external monitor and plug it in to your laptop so you can keep the keyboard there, or you get an external keyboard and then boost your monitor. Sure. E either or would, would work. Now, let's just talk monitors because most people have had some sort of ergonomic setup at their workplace, but probably was done incorrectly. So not, nothing against those ergonomic specialists that are, they're basically just employees who've gone through a 45 minute class. What they're told is your eyes should be in the top third of the screen, but that's, that's not correct. What you need, so that doesn't allow you to have a neutral curve in your neck, it doesn't allow you to have proper posture. What it does, if you can see me, it makes you do this. 
right? Again, holding the bowling ball out here is harder than holding it here. So you want to be in that neutral position. So the way that we have people set it up is the bottom of the screen should be level to your chin or lips, somewhere in this range. Yeah. So can you take that external uh, monitor and can you put something under it? Yeah. Yeah, that would be closer if, if this was a, a working yeah. computer. Yeah, but yeah, I get what you're saying. If that, yeah, if that was, yeah, four inches higher, it would be, it would be perfect. It'd be perfect. Yeah. So, like I said, maybe two, three, four inches, whatever it is, that would be that would be perfect. The problem is, if anybody's listening to this, and they're used to using a laptop, you don't want to just immediately switch you know, by raising that monitor foot, that would create a whole new series of issues. So I tell people, you know, raise it a ream of paper a, a week, something okay. that slowly allows those muscles to adapt. Otherwise it's gonna be just as bad trying to make a quick shift like that. That more or less covers it. You wanna think 90 degrees at everything. Your knees should be at 90, your back should be at 90 to your hips, your arms should be at 90, your head should be looking just gently upward. I say gently there, so just towards the horizon, not down. Yeah, because you can even tell, I, as I'm looking at my side view here, you can tell where my screen is here, how, how much I'm looking down at it. And it needs to yeah. be oh. like here. <laughs> more, yeah, more. Yeah, because that's that feels so much better right there. Yep. Laptops, they're just killer. They're convenient when you're at work if you're on the go. But right. man, this, Oh, tough. Dr. T, great info. Thank you so much, man. Any last Love words you. for our three viewers? <laughs> no, no, you're always welcome to call us if you got any questions. Uh, my office is True Life Wellness. We're across from the Des Moines Golf and Country Club, and technically it's Waukee, but it's right where Waukee, West Des Moines, and Clive come together. So. Thanks for having me on, Nate. I appreciate it. Yep, I'll include all the links in the post and we'll see you soon. All right, take care. Thanks.